Hi everyone! Thanks for tuning into our community outreach video. We are so excited to share a variety of music and we hope you enjoy. Let's start with a brief introduction to our flute quartet so that you have names to go with these faces. My name is Elena Pallada and I am from Gilbertsville, New York. Hi, I'm Emily Lee and I'm from Seattle, Washington. Hi, my name is Jen Klimek and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And I'm Andrew Creech from Henderson, Tennessee. Our first selection will be two movements from 20th century French composer Marc Bartomeu's Arcady, which refers to a region in ancient Greece known as Arcadia. The first movement is titled Berger in French, which translates to shepherds in English. The music in this movement is meant to paint an idyllic scene of shepherds guiding their flocks surrounded by the beautiful Arcadian landscape. The second movement is titled La Syrinx Magique, or The Magic Syrinx. Syrinx is a nymph in Greek mythology that is often referred to in art, music, and literature. The slow lyrical style of this movement creates a mystical feeling, and it also allows us to play with a lot of freedom and expression. Listen throughout this movement to see if you can find examples of where we stretch the time and slow down or speed up in the music. We hope you enjoy our first selection.
next piece that we are about to play is called The Moldau by Smetna. Smetna composed a symphonic poem that is based off of the flow of the Vltava River, otherwise known as Moldau, which is German. The river is set in the mountains of the Bohemian Forest that is throughout the Czech countryside, going all the way to the city of Prague. Overall, this piece is a dedication of his love of his homeland. And while you are listening, pay special attention to the constant moving notes that we will be playing. They represent the continuous flow of the river and the ripples that are found in the water. In the beginning, Andrew and I are representing two mountain springs, one with warm water and one with cold. The two waters then come together to become whole. As the piece progresses, the new melody that Andrew and I will be playing is meant to represent little water nymphs that bathe within the river. We hope that you enjoy our performance of Smetna's Moldau. Our next piece takes us out of the Czech Republic and into the French countryside. Eugene Boza was a composer that lived in France during the 20th century. He wrote many pieces for the Woodwind family, including works for the clarinet, the bassoon, the saxophone, and yes, of course, the flute. The piece that we're performing today, Je d'été à la mountain, literally means a summer day in the mountains. The first movement, which is called a pastoral, or in a rural setting, is Bota's attempt to capture a summer day in the mountains, and you can almost see the lush greenery and beautiful mountainsides that he would have seen when he was inspired to write this piece. Pay close attention to the very end, when you hear the mountain birds come out and begin to call to each other for the first time. The next movement takes us to the banks of a river, but instead of a huge, powerful river like the Moldau, we instead have a playful, tricky, bubbling, bustling mountain stream. Pay attention to those quick, rapid notes that are representing the rushing water. And finally, the last movement we're playing for you today is the rondo, which is a kind of dance. I picture a lively summer festival. You can almost hear the clapping of hands and the stomping of feet. We hope you enjoy Boza's Jour d'été à la mountain.
Okay. I hope you all enjoyed listening to all the pieces we played. So, flutes are not just used to play classic music like what you just heard, but we are also used to play like pop music, movie songs, and more. So now we're gonna play three really popular songs. So let's see if you guys can recognize any of them. As you can see, we have a lot of fun performing music of all styles. If you weren't sure of the names of those three pieces, they were, in this order, the Star Wars main theme, Let It Go from Disney's Frozen, and the legendary Baby Shark. We hope you enjoyed our community outreach video. Thanks for watching!